What is a great profit margin for your digital agency? Now, in order to understand what is a great profit margin, we need to figure out what is a low and what's the average. As well as I want to talk to you about what are some misconceptions that agencies have about as they grow, they think their margins are going to go down. So I want to kind of debunk that today. And I've worked with thousands of agency owners all over the globe. I've had started and, and scaled and sold many agencies. And I just want to go over my feeling about what is a great profit margin from the past two decades in this industry. Now, a low profit margin is anywhere from losing money to about 20%. I know what you may be thinking. You're like, man, I talked to a lot of agencies or I thought the 10 to 15% was the average. No, that's if we look back at kind of traditional agencies 20 years ago, yes, but it's actually changed because as we've gotten more efficient and technology, we can reach more and more people, the agency average has actually gone up, which is a good thing. And hopefully we've played a small part on helping that average continue to go up. Now, if your profit margin is low, there's a couple things that you can do or you need to start thinking about. How can I raise my pricing? If you can raise your prices, now you're going to make more margins. Or, and you may be thinking, well, I can't raise my prices. These people won't pay the price. Well, maybe it's the next thing is maybe you're taking on the wrong clients. And we need to think about getting bigger and better clients that can afford those pricing. Or maybe we need to think about we're doing the wrong services. Or kind of the last part is you have too many profit leaks. Now, I've created a video that you can click on up here or in the description that talks about the five profit leaks that are costing your agency money. I've, I've already created that video, so go check that out after this one. So a low is anywhere from negative to 20%. Now an average is anywhere from about 20 to about 30% um, in margins. Now remember, I'm talking about net, not gross. And then the high is anything over 30%. And there's many agencies out there. Now I wanna kinda of talk about what are the misconceptions. So as you're growing your agency, a lot of people think your margins are actually gonna go down. Well, if you think about kind of the economies of scale, now you can negotiate better rates and you're gonna get more efficient the bigger you get at delivering the services to your clients. The second one is diversification of services. So as you get bigger, you're probably going to start offering more and more. So now you can cross sell and you can upsell your clients, which actually increases your profitability. The next is around enhancing your pricing structure. You're going to be getting more and more credibility. People are going to look at you as the choice and the leader in the space, which now you can actually even demand higher pricing, which is going to increase profit. The next is around process optimization. So the more and more systems you set up, the more and more tasks or the, as the bigger and bigger you get, you're going to be able to streamline everything a lot better. You're going to get better at project management, everything. So you're going to get way more efficient as you constantly grow your agency. So that's going to add to profitability. And the last is around client retention and referrals. So if you're holding on to your clients longer and then you're also getting referrals from them, your cost of acquiring new clients actually goes down, which increases profitability. So as you increase your revenue, your profitability should keep increasing as well. So I just wanted to set your mind right on that. So I'd love to hear your comments. Comment below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out um, the five... Uh, things you can do to avoid scope creep so you get increased profitability. And until next time, have a swank day.